Happy New Year. Well, it's the countdown is on, whether you're on the East Coast, West Coast, Central, wherever you are. I just want to um, uh, wish you guys a Happy New Year and pray that you guys enjoy this transition time that we're going. We're stepping into new beginnings. So before, like, this is real time. So yes, the burning is coming and um, this is really me. <laughs> And so what I wanted to share, what I've downloaded, um, and I sincerely want to share this with you all from Leviticus 6, verse 9, and let's read through 13. It says, well, it starts in 8. It says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his son, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The burnt offering shall be on the hearth upon the altar all night until morning, and the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen trousers. He shall put on his body and take up the ashes of the burnt offering, which the fire has consumed on the altar and he shall put them beside the altar and then it says in 12 verse 12 it says and the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it it shall not be put out that's an instruction that's a command and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in order on it and he shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings a fire shall always be burning on the altar. It shall never go out. It shall never go out. The operative word shall is important. And what I have to share with you all that when it comes to the burning, you have to have oil in order for there to be fire, in order for there to be a burning. And what does the oil represent? The oil represents the Holy Spirit. This is what this whole year has been about. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is asking, are you safe within? Who are you? Do you know who you are as a believer? Do you know who you are in this time, in this season, in this lifetime? Do you know who you are and do you choose to operate as such? So I won't be before you for long, but we all know that in Hebrews 12, it says that the that God is a consuming fire. And I submit to you that today, what we have in us, symbolic of the fire, is the Holy Spirit. Just like the anointing oil is a representative of the Holy Spirit. And in order for there to be a burning fire, in order for it to never, ever, you know it says, it shall not go out. You have to have the Holy Spirit. So I want to share that with you all because it is something that has been pressed upon my heart. As we move on into this new year, just remember the oil is a type of the Holy Spirit and the fire within us should always remain burning. And because of that, we shall be watchmen on the wall, watchmen on the wall, watchmen on the wall. So that we can continue to not only keep the fire burning, but understand what God is doing in this season, in this lifetime. So I share this with you and you're about to see the burning. Um, I'm excited about it, but I know that it comes with responsibility. And so continue as we go into this next year. Burn anything and everything that is not of God. Burn anything and everything that is not of the likeness of God and continue to allow the Holy Spirit to reign supreme in your heart, in your mind, in your soul for the things of God, such as truth, love, compassion, resolve. All right? Yes, resolve. Redemption. All right? Anything that is pure, anything that is holy, anything that is of good report. All right, we're going into this new year burning, 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 burning with truth. All right, so I pray that you all receive that. Look into Leviticus if you can. Understand, understand what it means, what it means to be a consuming fire, what it means to have that burning in your heart and mind, to 
have the Holy Spirit represent the oil in you so that the fire will never, ever, ever, it's like it shall never go out. So in this day, that's what it means. The fire, the fire is the Holy Spirit in us and it shall never go out. So God bless you guys. Look into that into the next year. There's a whole lot that's going to be going on, but we shall continue to have the fire burning in our hearts and in our minds so that truth can prevail, love can prevail, peace can prevail, compassion can prevail, redemption can prevail, resolve, godly resolve can prevail. All right? In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let your fire consume me. Let your fire consume me.